Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and this is the first video of three for the Tonic Studios number no. eight craft kit. So let's get right into it, and I'll be explaining more at the end of this video. So one of the dies that came in the kit creates a box. Think of it like a matchbook, and that's the die right there. Now that just forms the inside box, and that's the die that I'm using. Then if you remember the dies from my reveal, showed their cutouts so you can put them in sections within this box and they will cut that portion out so and i chose the lattice one for this and you'll need two of those pieces cut to create this project i also cut four pieces of vellum and they measure a scant one and a quarter inch and two and a scant two and three eighths inch again four this is the die set that I used, just the branch for from that uh, die kit. And then I dug into my hand punches. I still like my hand punches. So I have that one Martha Stewart for the leaves. And then I have a couple of these hand punches here to create the flowers. So we're going to do this in steps. And you can see I did prep a lot as much as I could or else this video would have been forever. So I'm gonna use my Nouveau Tonic Adhesive. And let me tell you, this is really, I've used it before, but I really used it this time and I like it. Um, it's got a quick grip, um, but as everyone says, a little does go a long way. So I've only put down very little around the edge so that I can place my vellum on the inside of this lattice cutout. So you wanna do that to each of the four sections that you'll have. Now, you wanna make sure that you're only doing the cutouts close to the big square, the best way that I can explain it. I mean, you can do it to the ones up on top, depending upon what you're making, for, but for this project, you wanna be close to the square. To put this together, I did use double tape, but I also did put down some liquid glue as well so that this will really adhere and hold on to each other. So you do want to make sure that you have an extremely strong adhesive, whether it's a double-sided tape or a liquid glue. And I'm just using a tool, it's, a, it's what I, I'll use, you'll see, to curl the flowers but just to, to press that down. The next step is we now wanna create the box. We, we wanna form that. So you just wanna push those tabs in and then they're going to adhere on the inside. Now, before we do that, I wanna take my scissors and there's actual tabs on the top of two sides. I don't need those tabs for this project. So I'm going to cut those off. So now I also have double-sided tape here, but I'm also, again, I'm gonna add some glue to it just so that I have a stronger bond and I'm going to adhere this. And I apologize, I went off camera just a little bit. So I'm gonna show you this one. So again, double-sided tape and glue and just hold it for a little bit, just just a tiny bit to make sure that you do have uh, these two sides stuck together. So now we, we kind of have these flappy edges on top, which is okay, because we're gonna make them a little stronger. So when it comes to these branches, I just folded them in half and I let them tell me where they wanted to fold. I didn't force the fold. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue towards where it's folded and I'm going to put this over the edge of, on, above where the vellum and the die cut is. So pretty much this has kind of now become the anchor to hold up those two sides. So it looks like it's, you know, actually looks like a branch coming up there. And I did it to two corners opposite of each other so that you have a piece of the branch on all four sides. 
So what we want to work on next, now I have an extra one, and of course I saved them. We want to work on the flowers. So I wasn't quite sure how many I was going to need, but these tools here I had from my Sculpey days, and I don't do that anymore. Um, but I kept these, which I'm, which I'm glad for, but I know I'm going to have to get more. So I just want to break the fibers of the paper. That's what you're doing with these tools so that they curl a little bit. It gives them some dimension, um, some texture, so to speak. Not that the awesome Nouveau paper does not, because I did use the gray textured paper and the ice blue specialty paper in this project. The other two colors, the very pale color, which is a pale blue, and the green, I actually pulled from my stash. So I'm just going to go through and create all of these flowers, put them together. I'm only using those three colors, and I thought they went really well together. I'm going to be using glue dots for all of this to create these layers on that. And the magic of the video, we now have them done. So now that they're all put together, we're just going to have fun now placing them up on the box. So we want them to come up off of the branch. So it's almost like a cherry blossom, but not the colors of a cherry blossom. But we're going for that effect. So you just want to keep building and putting your flowers up on the branch and go off the edge. Just because there's an edge there, you never have to think, oh, I've got to stop at the edge. Nope. Let them hang over. You can see how they cross over each of the sides. I have them sticking up from the top. It adds movement to your piece. At least that's what I like to say. Now I'm going, I am going to use the liquid glue to adhere the greenery that we're going to add. And the, this liquid glue did really, really well. Very well. So again, just putting them in there, pressing down so that they stick. And then just filling in where you think you have a blank spot until you've put in all of the pieces that you are looking to put in. Again, you can make it as full as you want. You can make it as less as you want. <clears throat> Excuse me. So within the kit, you got a sample of the blue denim Nouveau Drops. So of course, we're going to use that for the flower centers. And then that just kind of ties in all of the blues and the grays that we used on this piece. And I think it looks really pretty. It looks like it's going to break at any moment, but trust me, it's it's really not. I mean, now, of course, you can't throw this across the room. Um, but, I mean, it, it is pretty sturdy, in case you were wondering. But I'm sure you're also wondering, okay, why did she create it to look like this? Let's put a tea light inside of it. So that's what we created, a tea light holder. Now, this is for the flameless tea lights, okay? I am not suggesting that you put a live, lit, flame tea light in this. Please don't do that. But this is the project that we created today. I hope you enjoyed it and just realize this is just one of the many things I'm going to show you that you can make from this kit. If you want to subscribe, go on to those links now. They are live. And the kit that you will be receiving is kit number nine. And if you haven't seen the preview for it, go on to the Tonic Studios YouTube channel. And wow, I am really excited. I cannot wait to get that kit. So remember, if you ever find that you're having problems getting through the link, that means that that month's kit is no longer available. You will have to wait to the 6th or the 7th of the following month. That's when the links will go live again so that you can become a subscriber. So just keep that in mind. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We have a great time here and so much more is coming. 
If you have a question or just want to leave a comment, please, I encourage you to do that down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope everyone is enjoying their weekend. weekend. I can't talk, you know, I cannot talk. But I hope you are having a great weekend, and always remember, everyone, be creative.